Hey there, you lovely people. Welcome back to some more Liverpool career mode. And do we have an interesting one for you today? We have both legs of the Champions League quarter final against Atletico Madrid. And at first, we are at Anfield. It is a big, big tie. And it is a, an interesting game. Let's just put it that way. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Your team is Mignon, Simakas, Canate, Gomez and Trent. It's Fafana and Gimaresh, Diaz, Bellingham, Chiesa and Osserman is up top for this one. And early doors, Jao Felix comes forward but is taken the ball off of him by Canate. Here is Fofana who moves forward through the midfield playing the ball wide for the Italian Federico Chiesa. His first chance to run is past Joel Matip. It's inside now and it's Gimaresh and it's saved by Oblak. Plenty of former players in both sides as Diaz comes forward, is tackled by Joel Matip. Kovacic into Lukaku and Felix now. Renato Sanchez over the top for the ball in behind to Lukaku. He's poked on and there is Yannick Carrasco one on one. Oh, it's going to come back to him. He can tap it in. Mignon does well initially. But then Carrasco gets the ball straight back to him. It bounces perfectly into his path and he makes it 1 0 to Atletico. Here is Lukaku. Mateo Kovacic getting forward. The two former Chelsea men combining. Wide for Lorente. Who's in behind already. He's gone past Canate now. Putting it across and one of you's got to stop it. Between Gomez and Mignon, one of you has to stop it. Lukaku has an absolute gift of a goal. He isn't going to get much of a better chance to put one away with ease than that. No one's missing there, are they? 2-0 down. Fafana, Bellingham, Fafana, oh he's given it straight to Lukaku, it's a terrible pass, Lukaku's got enough pace to get away from him, and Lukaku, good save, but he's going to come back for Felix, it's 3-0, oh dear, what do you even say about that, poor, fortunate, there, yeah, but, but just poor. 3-0 down at Anfield and it's only the 21st minute. And there could be another one if it's not for Mignon's save. And Simicast gets rid, but it's only as far as Lorente. It's back into the box. Lukaku, saved by Mignon. It is an absolute rampage from Atletico. The Spanish side dominating this first half completely. Simicast can't get rid of it. Get rid of it. Someone just clear it. Oh, it's come through to Felix for four. 23rd minute, 4-0 down. This is just one of those crazy games you get sometimes on FIFA where the side you're playing against just completely and utterly dominates and it's blown us away. Here is Chiesa trying to get us up the pitch a bit. Does well. Here's Osserman. Gets it in to Luis Diaz who can slot it home and brings one back just on the 30th minute. Liverpool have a goal back thanks to Luis Diaz. Exactly what we needed. A fairly quick response after the fourth goal's gone in. We wouldn't put it past us, but it's a tough task. Lukaku trying to get in behind, but there is Canate. Good, big and strong there. Here's Luis Diaz trying to counter. He's got Osman with him. Osman threads the ball to Chiesa. Good pass. Can he get away from Matip? Yes, he can. Just about Chiesa. It might come for Diaz. He's got a second. And we're already a couple of minutes to half time. The Colombians pulled a second goal back for Liverpool. You can see that Locatelli has made, uh, has got himself onto the pitch in place of Fafana, who was having such a disastrous performance that I had to change something up in midfield. There's still a couple of minutes of the first half to go, and Carrasco looks to make Atletico get another goal, but Trent blocks it this time. Does really well, finds Bellingham. Can we get a third goal back before half-time? Chiesa, he's going to get away from Joel Matip. Brilliant pace from the Italian. Chiesa tries to dink the keeper. It's in. Well, well, well. We are within a goal. Seven first half goals at Anfield. We are within one goal of the Spanish Giants. Who have towered over us today. But my word, what a comeback we could have on the cards. It is second half time. And it is Carrasco for Atletico. Well stopped by Joe Gomez. And now it's our chance with Chiesa to get ourselves forward. Bellingham 
nodding it forward for Osserman. Osserman does so well to hold on to it, plays it to Chiesa. Chiesa's got Diaz coming, he's going to find Diaz, and Diaz has equalised! What a way to turn this around! And the two men who played such a big part in it, the two key men, Chiesa finding Diaz. And between them, they have turned this game on its head. It's 4 4. Lorente. Playing a ball forward. There's a big gap for Lukaku, whose touch has knocked it down for Jovic. But it is a good stop from Mignon there. A booking, I think, for Lock. No, it's a penalty. What? No, they've given a penalty. Oh my word, really? Lukaku with the penalty for Atletico. He absolutely skies it. Incredible. Sanchez down for Matip. Both sides will want to find a way through to take a victory. It's saved, but it's come to Lukaku for the open goal. It's Liverpool 4, Atletico 5. I mean, they're going to be happy, of course, but they will be absolutely devastated of the way they've dropped the four-goal advantage. But they've managed to get one of those back in this situation, and it is 5-4 on the night. What a game. Couldn't strike his saved it. Unfortunately, ricochets off of the shoulder, I think, of Mignon to Lukaku. Gomez tackles Lukaku. Is that time? Here's Harvey Elliott on the ball but we are out of minutes to play. It ends Liverpool 4, Atletico 5, all to play for in the second leg, a Luis Diaz hat trick as well, as we move on to the next one for now. It's Brentford. We play Mignon in goal. It is Trent, Phillips, De Ligt and Simakas at the back. You've got Locatelli and Gimaresh in midfield. Chiesa, Elliott and Diaz. And Vlahovic, of course, returns up top. And we are underway at Brentford. At the Brentford Community Stadium, I believe it's called, as the ball goes out wide for Lincoln here. Brentford already looking to cause huge problems early on. He's pulled it back for Nino, who's put it in already in second minute with 1-0 down. Oh my Christ. Another bad start, reminiscent of Liverpool in real life at the moment. The bad starts hitting us hard. Martinez, Vegas, finding Douglas Luiz, but he's tackled by Gimaresh's countryman. Wide for Diaz, so influential in the last game. Gimaresh can slot the ball through. Vlahovic is onside. He gets the little touch onto it. The deflects off of Rossi, and it's in for 1-1. A very big, important response. Let's take a look. He's onside here. It's that defender that followed the run of Elliot that just finds its way over the keeper. Locatelli finds Chiesa wide for Trent. Delivers an exceptional ball, but it can't quite be reached by Vlahovic to make a telling touch. Locatelli does so well there. Chiesa. Oh, it deflects it in. It's 2 1. Oh, Chiesa's got a goal. It will be his. It will be. But there was a huge slice of luck involved as well. Locatelli just throws himself in front of his man to win this ball. Chiesa just hits it and it deflects off of the defender and into the back of the net away from the keeper's grasp. Vlavic. He's just going to hit one straight into the chest of uh, Mitch Pinnock. Oh, tackled by Chiesa. It comes back for Elliot to slot it in. It's 3-1. Wonderful stuff. Good pressure. Winning the ball high up on the pitch again. And this time it falls to Elliot who can just comfortably put it into the bottom corner. Rico Henry. Trying to get away, but Elliot is on top of it. Chiesa just loses out, but oh, we've got a we've got a penalty. I'm not so sure about that one. Chiesa just sort of turned. Let's see. I mean, he won the ball, didn't he? The ref says penalty, and it is Dusan Vlahovic who will step up to put his 4-1 in front, and he has in this second half. And Brentford. Uh, well, wondering how they got so far ahead to begin with. Such a blistering start to how they're now so far behind. Corner ball, Douglas Luiz. Delivering it in towards the penalty spot. Phillips gets enough on it, but it falls for Martinez. 
who just blasts it and it's straight down the middle really. Min Young has to stop that surely. What's he doing? Let's see. Smashes it. It's a great hit, but Ming Yong, what are you doing? Harvey Elliott. Nice turn. Does really well there, Elliott. Vlahovic works it wide for Simakas. Delivers it first time. There's Elliott. Oh, the Scorpion kick, and it's saved by the keeper. What a goal that would have been. Still alive, though. Gimaresh. Chiesa. Gimaresh again. Will work it wide for Simakas. Can he deliver a ball? And he does. What a ball. Vlahovic. Good save. Here is Sambia. Seconds remaining. Can Brentford find a way through? Perhaps Douglas Louise finds Lewis Muriel. Over for Wissa. They need to get the shot away, really. They're overplaying it here on Yeka. Popping it in for Nino. Away by Nat Phillips. Away by Diaz. And it ends Brentford 2. Liverpool for three points in the Premier League. You've got to love to see that. Good stuff. We'll take that all day long. We need as much momentum as possible going into that second game against Alberto and it is now time for it it is Mignon, Lodi, Canati, Gomez, Alexander-Arnold, Gimaresh, Locatelli, Jota, Bellingham, Saka and Vlahovic lots of former names of Alberto in our side today Bellingham wide for Bukayo Saka, Alexander-Arnold delivers a great ball toward Jota might come for Gimaresh it does Bruno Gimaresh makes it 5-5 on aggregate 1-0 on the night and this time, we are the ones that hit quickly. We are the ones that hit first. And we have got the game in our hands now. Momentum is with Liverpool and Bruno Guimaraes. Alexander-Arnold down the line for Bakayo. Chops inside. Brings the ball into Bellingham. Back heel. Guimaraes for two. He's got another one. He arrives in the Champions League with a little Sturridge tribute. Bruno Gimaresh there with another lovely little finish. Shows what we were missing in that first game that maybe he should have played. He was too knackered to play, but this time he does not disappoint. Locatelli. Bellingham. Wide for Saka. Still Saka. Comes inside. Bukayo Saka blocked. And it is cleared away, but only as far as Locatelli. Trent switches sides for Lodi. Gets out from his feet. He's just going to bang one. Oh, it's all the way in. It's all the way in for Brennan Lodi. The former Atletico left back. Scoring an absolute worldy against his former team in his former home. Wow. What even is this? He just sees the keepers right on the end of his six-yard box. Goes for it. And the keeper just... Yeah, he's, it dips. It's beautiful. He can't save it. Wonderful stuff. Lukaku, Felix looking to respond, and he does respond. What a finish that is from João Felix. What can you say about that? It's just an absolute worldie. No signs that we could stop that one. Perfectly and off the post. Second half now, and here is Yannick Carrasco. He calls all sorts of bother in the first leg. Felix. Oh, we've dived in. Trent's injured. Here's Lukaku, and it's saved, but it still reaches the top corner. Yes, we lead on the night, but it is 7-7 on aggregate. What can you even say about this? Trent is too hurt to get there. Mignon oh, should do more, shouldn't he? Gomez is gone to right back, with Trent being too injured to continue. We now have to press on. Here's Carrasco. Into Kovacic, good save from Mignon. Time ticking away now, seconds remain. Bellingham, still Bellingham. What's he going to look for here? Wide for Joe Gomez, can he deliver? He delivers beautifully. It comes for Bellingham, who's won it? Jude wins it in Spain. Bellingham there, keeping composed, being in the right space. To win the second ball, he smashes it home past Jan Black, And Atletico lose at home and we go through to the semi-finals. Look at this for a finish from Jude. Brilliant hit. Perfection from him. And here is seconds remaining. Volland, fine Matthias Kunner. Sanchez into the area of Atletico. 
Get rid of it, Lodi. Just get rid of it. He slips and it's away enough. It ends Atletico 2, Liverpool 4, 7 8 on aggregate to the Reds. We're into the semi finals of the Champions League. Whew, and I can take a breath. And unfortunately, Trent is going to be out for the remainder of the season by the looks of it. Four weeks might be too much for him. Maybe he makes it back just in time. But we will see. Bogle is going to have to be playing a lot of minutes for now. It is Watford at home. It is Mignon in goal. Of course, Bogle is at right back. Gomez, Kenate and Simakas. You've got Locatelli and Jones in midfield with Chiesa, Gallagher, Jota and Vlahovic. Here's Kenate. Simakas quickly into Jones, who can turn. And he's taken out from behind. Oh, he's seen red. But yep, that's one of those FIFA red cards, isn't it? Where, I know it's from behind, but it's not a particularly bad or dangerous challenge. He's just trying to take him down. Yeah, he takes him down by the side, really, as well. The 10 men of Watford have held us well, though. Locatelli finds Vlahovic. Gallagher. Gets a second chance. Gallagher after winning the ball back. Diogo Jota. To have come at in front. It's a really good save from Dahlberg. Really good save. Second half now. Dahlberg launches this one out. One by Jones. Nodded down for Vlahovic. Jota. Chiesa through with a dink and he puts us in front at last. At last against Watford we lead. The 10 men of Watford have held so strong. The chances have been so, so few and far between. But it is this man, Federico Chiesa, who's having a hell of an episode, who puts us in front. Dahlberg playing this one out towards Ngakia. Cut out by Gallagher just about. Can I take a find Vlahovic? Jota. Oh, he gets the ball, Jota. Diogo Jota works it so Vlahovic can find the space. Vlahovic should score, but it's a great stop. Free kick for Watford. Play forward. Only as far as Fafana's head. Jones. Chiesa. Threading it for Jota. Jota in a really good position to score. What a finish that is from Diogo Jota. In his 2-0. Not seen too much of him this episode, really, Diogo. But, of course, when he plays, he delivers. He delivered an assist. Now he delivered a goal. And it's 2-0. Corner ball. Chiesa delivers this towards Joe Gomez. But Luis Diaz is the one that steams in ahead of the captain. And he heads it past Delberg for three. We're finally getting our rewards now for pushing on and being so patient. Luis Diaz just bang ghosting in as Gomez wanted the bicycle kick. Or well, the acrobatic effort, I should say. Simicas. Does really well, the Greek left back. Finds the ball in as well. And there's Gallagher. It's a good save from Dahlberg. Simicas had no right at all there. Corner ball will be the last action of the game. Can Canate get us another? It's held by Dahlberg. It is 3-0 at the end. A clean sheet. Three Premier League points to show. And now we play our last game of the episode. But before then, Victor Osiman is out for two months and will also miss the remainder of the season. As we now play Manchester United, it's Mignon in goal, Bogle, Gomez, Canate and Lodi in defence, Locatelli and Gimaresh. You've got Saka, Bellingham and Diaz and Vlahovic up front. Of course, we are now looking for some sweet, sweet revenge after this Manchester United team beat us in the League Cup final. Here is Kane all the way through and Mignon does enough there, makes a good stop. It's a good opportunity for United there. Here's Moise Kane again. Basuma into Zakaria. Sliding in Sancho, but Mignon makes a good stop. Lodi, Gimaresh. Bellingham. Still Bellingham. Hitting it all the way across. And it's gone all the way in. He should never really score from that angle, should he, Jude? But a man on that kind of form that he is on deserves those kind of goals and will get those rewards. Outstanding stuff from Jude to score from there. Maybe Henderson should save it. He should save it. But we will take him. Paredes over the top for Gnabry. Gnabry now storming by his to the area. Bogle caught out of position. Gomez trying to stand him up. He pulls it back. Gimaresh intercepts, but they've got a penalty. And it looks like another one, like uh, the one that was given earlier to Atletico. 
yeah, like, oh, come on. It's just he stands his ground. Ah, Bruno Fernandes to score for Manchester United. It's saved by Mignon, and we retain the 1-0 lead. Gomez intercepts. He's giving it away. Just needed to clear it, Gomez. We need to regroup here now. Paredes into Gnabry. Lodi does enough and can find Luis Diaz, who can look to counter. Look at the pace of Luis Diaz. Gimaresh over for Saka. Square ball again. Vlahovic. It's two. Really good play from everyone involved there. A phenomenal counter attack leads to 2 0 and puts Manchester United into the ground where they belong and gives us those sweet points. Lodi. Bellingham intercepted by Jules Kunde. Here is Fernandez Gnabry finding Ronaldo, who, yes, is still there. Sancho back for Fernandez. Laying off for Gnabry. It's a great goal. It's a great goal from United, to be fair. We do not get the clean sheet today. It is 2-1. And there actually is time for them to come back in this one. Here is Sancho intercepted though by, by uh, Lodi Diaz. Bellingham into Saka. Can he wrap the game up? He does wrap the game up. Two goal advantage restored. Surely the points are ours now. But Kayo makes it 3-1 at Anfield. Outstanding stuff from Bakayo Saka here to make this little goal. Just beautiful finish. And the final action of this game is looking to be a Manchester United free kick. Fernandez takes it. It's off the bar. Min Young has to get up and keep hold. And he does. We've got a corner still to look at here. It's delicted and it's gone over. Just when I thought there was nothing left of the game to be seen, we pull out a corner right at the very death. It ends 3-1. Three big points. A nice spot of revenge as well. As the game is done. Thank you so much for watching. Next time we've got Chelsea in the FA Cup semi-final. Our semi-final of the Champions League is against Real Madrid. We've also got Chelsea in the league and West Ham to play as well. So thank you all so, so much for watching. We're almost to the end of this career mode and almost to FIFA 23. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all again real soon.